Good morning, YouTubians. It's Alan with Off-Grid Technology today. I have another video for you. I think you might actually you know, really like this one. It's a little product that I found uh, while surfing on the internet that could potentially save your life. Think about that for a second. Watch the intro. We'll be right back with you. All right, so I was surfing around the internet like I normally do, looking for little gadgets and gadgets and things that are, you know, off-grid related, ham radio related, things that fit the nature of this channel. Um, I know we focus more on radios and things like that. It just seems to be the hot topic of the technology world and off-grid nowadays. Uh, but we do do other things as well. And some of the other things that we do is we do, um, you know, power sources, alternative power sources such as solar, solar generators. So I was looking around for some things along that line, and I came across this neat little device, per se, um, that could potentially save your life, and I'm going to tell you why. So most of us around here are some sort of radio operator. We either dabble in GMRS, ham radio, FRS, um, software-defined radio, things along that nature. That's what piques our interest in this, this uh, day and age right now, and that's why you're watching this channel. So while I was surfing around the internet, Looking for some things power related, I came across something that is kind of a mix between power related and radio related. And there's a reason why I say it could save your life. So, most of us, you know, carry our radios around. Actually, I'd say some of us. I know there's a lot of people that don't EDC radios. I personally do. Um, I, I EDC several, like as you can see in the background here, there's quite a few of radios I have. Uh, I'm sure most of you have them as well. But one of the problems that we run into is how do we keep our devices charged? Now, there are devices on the internet, such as this one here, that has a USB-C charging port in the battery. This is the Explorer QRZ1. Um, I did get this for becoming a new ham. If you have not gotten your ticket yet, uh, if you get your technician license, you will get one of these free. The, the program's still going. I'll leave a link somewhere around somewhere. Um, if it's not up here, check the description. Uh, but this is a great little radio. Uh, this is actually the battery for the GM30, which is a GMRS radio. But it's the same size. It still fits. So that's one option you have to charge. Now, if you see, I'll turn this radio on, and it's not coming on. So I could plug in a USB-C cable. I could charge this radio be on my way. One of the other radios I carry with me daily is my FT4X. And you're going to see I'm going to turn this one on as well. This one will come on. But you're going to see it's about 6.5 volts, which it's almost at its end of its life. It'll die here shortly. Uh, but this one does not have any type of USB charging port, no external charging jack. Uh, there are some like the ASU, ASU FT70 um, that has a DC in jack, but this one does not. So if I'm out and about and my radio dies, I'm SOL. I, I can't charge it. So what if I go on a day hike, you know, and I'm out and I either don't have another battery, I didn't bring a battery with me, maybe I did and the battery died, and I'm stuck out in, you know, wherever, you know, it may be, and I need to call for help. Cell phone, nope, not going to work. Don't have my open spot on me, sorry, they're too expensive. Have my radio, but it's dead. Now, most of the time when I go out, I always carry a USB bank on me and a cable to charge my phone, to keep my phone charged. But in this instance, we're going to say the phone is dead. We can't use it. There's no signal. Walk in this little lifesaver. So, like I said, I was surfing around on the Internet, and I came across this. Uh, this was actually on Amazon where I got it, so I'll leave a link below for that. You can also find them on AliExpress for about $6. And you're thinking, what is this? Well, it says it right on there. It says charger clips for walkie-talkie. Well, okay, what does a charger clip for walkie-talkie got to do with it? Well, I'm going to show you. This is a USB to charging clip adapter. Now, at first, I thought this thing was going to be, you know, cheaply made, you know, a big gimmick. But surprisingly, the quality is pretty good. I mean, the, the even down to the the connectors, it's it's pretty tight. Now, if you notice, at the tips, it's all heat shrinked off except for just these little tip points on your positive and your negative. You've got your USB. Now, the one thing that 
I looked or I, I was looking around for this is most USBs are around five volt or most USB power is around five volts. Well, this device can actually auto sense. And I'm going to put this here. You can pause this and take a look at it. But it will auto sense between 3.7 volts and 7.4 volts without any measurement. So you can input 5 volts, 2 amps, output 1 amp, and it will charge your battery. Now, it's not going to be the fastest thing in the world, but it's going to charge your battery. So let's go ahead and test this. We're actually going to take this battery here from this unit. We'll pop that off because we know that's completely dead. And we're going to go grab a charging bank. A few moments later. All right, I am back here with a power bank. See, we've got a power bank here. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and attach the negative lead and the positive lead. Now you want to make sure that they are on the contacts. Make sure that they're not over the contacts. So you're going to want to make sure they're, you know, as, as centered on the contacts as you can be. You can place your battery down. You're going to plug it in. And you're going to see the light turn red. And as long as everything's connected correctly, you should see the light turn red, stay red. Um, if the light flashes red, it means you have a bad contact. Just, you know, adjust your leads a little bit. If it's green and flashing, that means it's reverse polarity. So switch your cables around. Positive has to be on positive. Negative has to be on negative. Uh, and, and it's that simple. And you can see right now without, you know, any USB-C cable or whatever, we're able to charge this device. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this sitting here for a bit, um, maybe about uh, 10, 5, five, 10 minutes. Uh, we will come back and we will see if we have enough juice to power on the radio and make a test call. Many, many minutes later. All right. So it's been about 10 minutes. We are back here. You can see actually this light went down one notch. So I'm not sure what the state of charge was, but it's obvious that power is going from this into this. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have a multimeter on me right now. I do have one coming, so I will test this again um, and update this video with some updates in the future uh, if there's anything with the voltage. Uh, but let's go ahead and take it off and plug it into the radio and let's see what we can get. So we're going to go ahead and unplug the USB. Um, just to note, this thing is pretty warm. Um, actually, almost hot to the touch. Uh, so we know definitely power was going through. Battery feels fine. Cable leads feel fine. None of the cable, the connectors are hot. So we're going to go ahead and slap it on there. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And we're at 7.3, it said. I don't think it's going to sit at that, so we'll check it again here. I definitely don't think it's that high. There we go. So 7.3. I mean, maybe it is. I, I can't see that. 7.3 is pretty high. Um, plus, it only shows one. But uh, let's go ahead and make a test call. So let me flip this over to VFO. Put a channel that I know nobody's listening to. So yeah, I mean, I was able to put out a call. Uh, you can see, you know, the battery thing there did drop away. So let's check the battery again. And it still says 7.3. So yeah, I mean, it, it'll give you enough power uh, to get going. So you can see 7.3 there. Seven point three volts. Um, it was dead, so this thing dies at about six point five volts. Um, you know, it's definitely not fully charged. It's going to go down quite quick. But I mean, I was able to get out a call. Still able to, you know, use the menu. I can turn on the flashlight. You know, so so far, yeah. I mean, this this radio is completely dead. I couldn't turn it on. That's ten minutes on it, and we've got a flashlight on. We were able to make the radio contact. So. You know, this is definitely a viable option. Now, like I said, this is about $15 on uh, Amazon. 
I was able to find it on AliExpress for about six, seven dollars. I will leave those links below. Um, but if you're like me and you have some radios that you really like to take with you, uh, but you don't have a way of charging them in the field, this is a viable option. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I wanted this was my one of my favorite radios, the UV9PX. Uh, shout out to BetterSafeRadio.com, UV9PX. If you don't have this radio, it's an amazing radio. Pick it up. Uh, I'll leave that link down below as well. But the Wushan or Ushan or Woshan or Ocean batteries, they only come cradle chargeable. Uh, you can get USB chargers for the cradles, uh, which you can see the 9G sitting in the cradle back there, but you can't USB charge them. So now in, in a pinch, if I'm out and about, you've got your negative lead right here. You've got your positive lead right here. You make those two contacts, you plug it in, and you're charging your, your UV9G or UV9P batteries out in the field while you're out camping, whatever, without carrying all that with you. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I think this is a, a great little gadget. Uh, I think it could save a lot of people's lives out there. I could think it help a lot of people. Uh, but let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, you know, if, if, if there's enough interest, I might get some and give them away in a giveaway. Uh, and speaking of giveaway, uh, now that we're done with the review here, I just wanted to take another little side note. Um, so if you watched the last video, we're going to be doing a giveaway when we hit 1,000 subscribers. Uh, I do have an Alinko, uh radio coming. I will be doing a review on that radio. It's an IP67 dual band radio. And I will give that radio away uh, with, at the 1,000 subscribers. Um, so anybody who subscribes from now till the 1,000 will be entered in that giveaway. Now, in the last video, um, I did give a chance for people who shared and made comments. Um, you know, I, I did let them know about the giveaway. But to be fair, I want to give them a little extra because they were there, at, you know, when I announced it, they were there and commented. So anybody who commented on the last video and shared it and liked it, you're going to get two entries into the giveaway. Uh, everybody who likes, shares, and subscribes from this point forward uh, will be entered one time in the giveaway. So once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to take those thousand subscriber names. We're going to put them in a random drawing and we're going to do the giveaway. Now, in addition to the Alinko radio, um, I recently picked up a SDR dongle, uh, which I'm going to, you know, do a review here. Now you guys have seen me do SDR before. I have some, several other SDR dongles, but I don't have this specific one. This is the RTL SDR dongle uh, that we see all over the place. So, uh, I'm going to give this away as well after the review, so you'll have a chance to win the Alinko. You'll have a chance to win the RTL SDR. Uh, I'm also working with some other manufacturers to bring some stuff to the giveaway. So uh, if you watch this video and you're a manufacturer and you're interested in doing some items for a giveaway, uh, let me know. Reach out to me. Uh, you can reach me through the video here. You can reach me through my website, Off Grid Technology. Uh, reach out to me. Let me know because... Uh, Thousand subscribers are coming up soon, guys, and we got some good giveaway stuff. So, Alinko Radio, Real Tech SDR. There may be some other stuff coming between now and then. Um, I'm almost positive I'll find some more stuff between now and then. We may throw a couple of these in there as well. Um, so yeah, guys, like, subscribe. Um, you know, if you watch it this late in the video, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you guys think of this, and have a wonderful afternoon. And we will hit you on the flip side.